Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty by Lenore across all my social media platforms. If you would go ahead and thumbs up this video, of course subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification so you are notified on my weekly uploads and of course get a conversation started with me in the comment section below. But uh, no more talking. You already know why we're here. We're here to figure out who asked for that, why did they do this, who gave you this idea, Please take it back. But before we get into my uh, why products, I just want to go ahead and put out a disclaimer. Just because these products didn't work for me, just because I didn't like these products, doesn't mean that they won't work for you. Doesn't mean that you won't like them. Doesn't mean I have anything against the brand or anything like that. It just means that these just didn't jive with all of this. It just didn't work for me. So if you're ready to find out what you might want to save your money on and pass by, boo. Let's go ahead and get into the video. You're my bitter one taking me home. For one thing, really, two, one. Okay, so the first thing that didn't work for me, I know a lot of you guys, you know, this is your stand. You know, this is one that you really like, but for me, it came across as a very, very light coverage. Very, 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 very light coverage BB cream, but it's supposed to be a uh, full coverage foundation. And this is from Full Spectrum by CoverGirl, and this is their Matte Ambition All Day Shine Free Foundation. And I did get mine in the shade Deep Cool 2. I don't care how I tried to use this or what may have been going on. This just did not work for me. Like when I say it just did not work for me, like a swatch on the back of my hand, right? We're going to put one pump on that actual swatch. No matter what I tried to do, no matter how I tried to actually work it and have and use this product, it didn't work for me. It just, it just, I'm just looking for so much more with my products. And for this one, you can still see the different stuff underneath it. Like, I just... I am the type of girl who I'm just, if I'm going to come to the party, I'm going to come to the party. Or I'm not. I'm either going to be all done up and dolled up like I am now, or I'm going to be running around here in steely braids from the color purple with some sweatpants on. So <laughs> if I had bought this knowing that it was going to be sheer coverage, then that wouldn't be the problem. But for me, when I'm trying to do my makeup, as I put it on, apply it, and try to build it up, it just... I just can't. It, it just did not provide the coverage that I needed. And for me, reading what it was and seeing other people use it and then me using it myself, I was like, I must have got a bad... I must have got a bad batch. I'm thinking that's what it was because everybody else seems to like it. Everybody else seems to enjoy their coverage and everything that happens with it. But for me, it just didn't work. The next thing is recently in my haul from Ulta Beauty Wood because it took me so long to actually review this product because I received that package from Ulta Broken. It kind of sat in my corner for a month and a half. So by the time I pulled it out to actually use it, it was already past my return time with Ulta. And this is the Pacifica 100% cruelty free and 100% vegan. And this is their Cherry Matte Translucent Setting Powder. <clears throat> now this setting powder on people of color tan and deeper tan medium tan deep tan deep dark rich uh this comes off stark white on us and uh it gives you the james charles flashback mary so no it didn't work for me i was thinking that i was gonna try to use this product like um setting down my primer before i do my foundation and everything else so i may give it a shot that way but the minute I put it on my face, I immediately knew, Lynn, you're going to be casket sharp if you use this. You're going to kill them, girl. You're going to be casket ready if you use this, baby. So the next thing that I got, I actually got inside of uh, BoxyCharm. And I really, really tried. I really, really tried to like this product. I tried to do it several different ways. It, I am. I come to the realization that I just like pencils. 
and uh, brow gels for my actual eyebrows, along with like the liquid um, pens where I could actually draw in here because a liquid type of pomade brow product, I'm just, uh, it, 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 it it takes more than it's worth for me, and I don't feel like spending this much time on my eyebrows. Anyway, this is from Iconic London. This is their Sculpt and Boost Eyebrow Cushion, and this is in the shade Medium. I'm just, I'm just not the girl for this. I'm not. You open it up, and you guys remember, you get a dark side and a light side. Kind of looks like the Anastasia of Beverly Hills, except for it's actually a cushion. And I'm, I'm just. I tried to use this like three or four times and I just came to the realization that I'm too impatient to do any type of cushion product when it actually comes to my brows because I'm so used to just getting it done. Like there are different parts of your makeup you're going to spend time on and different parts of your makeup you just loathe having to do. And my eyebrows, I loathe them. I loathe them. Like I, 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 I can't be bothered to spend that much time on them, not like this. So this is a product that... I'm pretty sure I know some of you guys asked for it, but I definitely didn't. And I'm just like, who really asked for this from Iconic? But, you know, apparently a lot of you people, well, apparently a lot of people like it. I'm just not one of them. The next thing is actually a new release. This hasn't even been on the market for three months. <laughs> but it didn't work for me. Didn't work for me. Um, this is the Milani Stay Put Brow Shaping Gel, and I did get mine in dark brown. Um, I love Milani, but I hated this. Absolutely hated this. Like it's almost like the brow is. It's it's it's, it's it, it really makes sense for the actual shape of the actual brush to actually go in, and you would think that the color would be something that's really pretty on top of my eyebrows. But the problem with it is, it just, I don't think, I don't think enough product actually comes out on the actual brush to really translate into your brow. So you constantly have to dip in and dip out, dip in and dip out, dip in and dip out, go through. So for somebody that has really thick, lustrous brows and they don't even need to do all this shaping and cleaning up, all they have to do is just through with a brow gel this may work for you but um my brows aren't necessarily struggle brows they're decent but i do have to put work in i have to put work in on my feet with these brows okay so something that takes this much time and work it's it's it's, it's just not going to be a part of my routine so this has to go into that who asked for that i know a lot of you guys like it but i didn't ask for that uh, while we're on the subject of things that just didn't make any sense, um, <sighs> Pure Cosmetics, they have these sponges. And it's they came in a trio set of different colors, and you would think that they would be pretty cool. But these little buggers, even when you wet them and use them, do. Yeah, they do swell up and they do get bigger, but... They're so hard. It's like when you're busy blending out your makeup, you feel like you're going... I don't have time for that. Like, I don't have time for that. And this sponge, while I was blending it out, I noticed something very weird with this sponge that I didn't have with other sponges. As I was blending it out, something about this sponge started to pick up and move product around. And I thought I was just bugging. I thought I was just tripping. So I used a different sponge to go through and do the same thing and didn't have that problem. So I used it again on another day with a completely different makeup, different foundation, different primer and went in with this sponge same problem and i was like Boop, got to go anything that makes my makeup routine harder or longer than when it has to be or it creates a problem girl i'm not here for that who asked for this uh, uh, i know most of y'all didn't answer this because i know most of y'all slammed this when it first came out anyway but you know me i was still like let's give it a try everybody doesn't actually reflect my opinion they did i didn't ask for that Next thing that I got, <laughs> it's hard, but when you get a free product 
and it's a crappy product. Like this, but but this has always notoriously been one of Elf Cosmetics' most crappiest, worst products. I love Elf. Love Elf to death. When I say I love Elf, Elf stays on my vanity. Like I have so much Elf on my dress that it's not even funny. <sighs> but they baked eyeshadows. I always miss the mark. And this is the big eyeshadow palette in California. It just doesn't give me any type of payoff. Doesn't give me any type of pigment. I mean, I tried to go ahead and do the whole, you know, scraping off the top layers to try to really get something going. Dude, do you, do you hear that? Do you see what I'm doing? All of that. And that's it. Okay, let's do it again. That's it. So it will more or less be like, if you really wanted to, you could use this as one of the body shimmer type palettes. Just go in and just run your hand across it and then go across your arms and legs. But let me tell you right now, trying to get this on your eyes. <sighs> I ain't asked for this. I don't want this. I would like Elf to punch the chemist in the face. Whoever keeps coming up with these and making these, you just, you just punch them. Just, just. I need Elf to either do a better formulation of these baked eyeshadows or just go ahead and remove this completely from the actual shelf because I tried they baked eyeshadows about eight years ago. Same problem. Four years ago, same problem. And this one came in free. And I was just like... That's why it's free, because no one asked for that. That's why it's free. That's why they're always on sale, too. Next thing that came in, now, this one right here. This one broke my heart. And this is probably where you're about to hit that unsubscribe block button on YouTube, because I know this is some of your favorites. I know how much you guys love this. Now, before we get to bashing this product, let's just say Lynn is a huge Wet n Wild fan. I have so much Wet n Wild. I use Wet n Wild all the time. Their eyeliner is my favorite. Like, I have so much Wet n Wild that you guys have seen throughout my videos. It's ridiculous. So I am a diehard Wet n Wild girl. So when, El when Wet n Wild decided to kind of redesign their uh, Tin Shadow Palettes and come out with d different designs for the Stop Playing Safe and the Cosmic Collision, these little buggers right here, um, I'm not impressed. I've noticed it was one shadow palette prior to this and then definitely with these. I noticed a change in their formulation with their eyeshadows, and I'm not really sure what is going on with Wet n Wild because typically there's three pan, six pan, and ten pan sh shadow palettes. Man, they rival Anast Anastasia Beverly Hills. You best believe. Uh, about two, three years ago, Wet n Wild, their three pan walking on eggshells, and their um, six pan, and that Fergie collection they had, that green Fergalicious Fergie collection they had out. Girl, hand down, beat Anastasia Beverly Hills. There's no reason that you needed an honest ABH palette if you had these Wet n Wild trucks. No absolute reason. But the formulation changed with these, and I realized that it took a whole lot to build up the mattes in these palettes. And some of the shimmers are hit and miss, which is really, really weird. Because you would have one shimmer like this that you would be thinking, hey, that's so pretty. And you put it on your finger and you go to swatch it. That ain't what it shows up on your eye. And these two shades right here are such beautiful transition shades, especially for people of color. Or even if you're lighter skin and trying to do a look, this mustard right here is so pretty. And this brown, do you see how pretty that is? Now, when you try to go do that on your eye, unless you finna go in and do this and just, you finna freestyle the artwork on your eyelid, it don't translate like that. This blue and this green, I'm just thinking like, hey, I'm really finna get something. And that green is, <sighs> won't even swatch. But we're gonna go ahead and swatch that blue. Do you see that? That's the green. 
I'm gonna tell you right now, when you get ready to go in to apply these shadows on your eye, this is how they start to apply on your eye. And even when you build it up, it gets to right here. You literally have to wet them to even get to this point. And once you do finish using and actually building an eye look, the amount of time you spent doing it isn't worth it. And about two or three hours later, you're going to start to see that eyeshadow fade, baby. I'm telling you right now, if you got to be to work at 7.30 and you clock out at 3.30, this crap been clocked out at 11.30. I'm telling you, by your lunch break, you're going to get in the bathroom, you're going to be like... What the hell? I'm telling you right now. I am telling you, don't play yourself, boo. Not with these. And then this one. This one is the Cosmic Collision. Again, these two shades right here, I would love as far as transition shades, especially for people of color. Tan, deep, rich. These are perfect transition shades perfect transition shades and you would think hey yeah no and this gold right here i'm gonna swatch this gold this blue this little purple this lilac and this black so you see how it comes across on my hands and when people do swatches and all they do is show you it on their fingers and they don't actually swatch it on their skin or something like that that's your first clue that those shades really aren't all that. They, they faking the fuck with you. But you see what it looks like on my hands? Like, wow, that's amazing. And this is just $4.99. Why are you complaining? Because this is how it swatches. And I put this in a previous haul. And I tried to use it, which is why you guys never saw a look with these palettes. You see how it swatches and everything? You can already start to see the mattes are that skippy. You start to see that they, and then when you go in to blend them out, my problem is as you go in to blend them, you see what's happening with it? As I'm trying to blend it, it fluffs and disappears to nothing. So these are one of the eyeshadows when you go in and you start, you be like, hold on, let me, let me catch all the stuff that's, I didn't ask for this. I was perfectly fine with your old formulation. I don't know what changed or why it had to change, but I want the old Wet n Wild formulation back because this ain't it, boo. I promise you, Chief ain't even got to call you to tell you that. We can see this. This ain't it. I didn't ask for that. Next thing, oh, Beautylish, Beautylish, Beautylish. Being on Beautylish, I see different things. I be reading reviews and stuff. You know, I'm the review queen. I'm not buying nothing that I can't read a review on. If I can't go in store and play with it, I'm definitely going to need to Google some reviews. I'm going to need to see some reviews online for people who are people of color, white people, Asian people, Spanish people. I, it don't matter to me. Uh, specifically my skin type, oily skin, you know, pores, you know, acne prone. So I was on Beautylish and Anasui, Anasu, I don't know child, don't give me the line about, you know, how you pronounce this name. This is their gel foundation primer. So it's supposed to be a base and it looks like this and it's heavy. You see it there trying to, whoo, it's trying to creep on out. It's trying to creep on out. Look at it. You see it better there? Ooh, it's creeping on out. It's creeping on out. Get it on back in there. It's like flubber. <laughs> anyway, you're supposed to use it, but in all honesty, when I tell you this thing, one, it never quite went away. <clears throat> Y'all were going to tell me it was coming out. Y'all were going to tell me, hey, Lynn, you're a dummy. You're holding it to the side. Okay, let me put that back on before we have a problem with this one. It never, um, for me being a person of color, anytime something stays bluish purple, it can kind of translate through the foundation and makeup just really depending on how reflective this is underneath the makeup so this never quite went away it never cleared up it just always stayed that bluish purple and oh my lights you're seeing like a lightish bluish purple but it's actually a little bit deeper than that and it actually goes across kind of ashy kind of looks like i've been embalmed basically there's no other way to put that and then when i put my makeup and everything else on top of it 
Um, the first time I used it, I just used it alone. And I was a grease ball within 45 minutes. This sped up my oil production like crazy. And I'm like, okay, Lynn, you know better. You know you have oily skin. So I was like, okay, let me put on a mattifying primer. My favorite mattifying primer. I went ahead and put on the NARS oil control primer. I went ahead and put that on. And then I put this on top since it's a makeup base. The NARS primer can get me through nine hours cakewalk. No oil. Cakewalk. NARS is expensive, but cakewalk, baby. No oil for nine hours. Love it. Of course, you know, you use mattifying foundation, mattifying actual powders, and mattifying setting spray, but NARS is the only one that gets me through that long without having a blot. Man, I put this on top of my NARS with the foundation, the matte foundation, and within an hour and a half, we used a grease ball. We used a grease ball. We were so greasy to where it was a lightweight foundation that I normally can't feel, but with this base, I can feel. You know how sometimes when you put on your makeup, you can feel it, and it's just, you just be like, <clears throat> You be ready to take your makeup off. You know how if you've had on your makeup all day, the first thing you do when you get home, you want to go ahead and peel your hair up, take your hair off, depending on if you wore a wig or not. I don't know. And the first thing you want to do, ladies, you want to take your bra off. And the first thing you want to do is just go wash your face and just get all this. Yeah, about an hour and a half in with this particular base, I just, I ain't asked for that. And because it's a product that I've had quite some while for Beautylish, of course, you know, Lynn being her own worst enemy, I cannot return it. And I think that thing was like $30, $40 some dollars, so that's not a cheap primer. And hello, do you see how... Do you see how it's so cute? It's so cute. I started just using this decoration on my vanity because it is just the cutest, it's the cutest little pot, but it's so stupid. It didn't work for me. The next thing that didn't work for me, you guys are kind of going to flip out because I know this is some of your favorites, but I tried to use it. I really did. I tried to go back to it. You guys saw a video where I made this work, but it was a complete and utter fail. So I'm pretty sure you guys already knew this was going to be in my fail bin. But this is something I've used about four times since I first bought it. And each and every time it just let me down. I just kept thinking maybe I didn't drink enough water. Maybe I'm too stupid. Yeah, maybe I'm just too stupid. But it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's like, oh, Jesus. This is the Stick Foundation in Chestnut. And when I tell you guys, it's a greasy mess for me. Uh, it's a greasy mess. It doesn't matter what type of primer I use. It doesn't matter what type of setting spray I use, setting powder. This thing, ooh, it just, it, 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 it just, it, I, it's a hot mess who asked for that for me because of my skin type. I have oily skin, so I can't do a really emollient product that just, it never truly sat throughout the day, and that's why I ran into my problem. And this other stick is one that I ran into the same problem with. And mm, you guys haven't heard this brand mentioned too much on YouTube. You guessed it. It's my Black Opal. And this is the Truly Topaz shade with Black Opal. And when I tell you this thing... Uh-oh. 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 I have broke. Okay, so... I did. Oh, there we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Same thing. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm thinking, first of all, it's my winter shade. It's definitely not my summer shade. But I'm sitting up here thinking like, dudes, look at this. When I tell you, this is a very full coverage foundation. It will cover up Every okay, let's it'll cover up everything you ever thought you knew for whatever reason. It is a full coverage foundation. This is for people who have dry skin or a combo leaning toward dry. But if you're combo leaning toward oily, or if you have normal skin, or if you have oily skin, boo no, no, 
both this one and the Anastasia, I, I, I just couldn't get it work to work on my oily skin. So that was the problem. As you could tell, even as you start to blend it out and rub it in and work it into the actual skin, it is such a beautiful product. And it kind of dries to actually set itself. And the, what tattoo? What tattoo? It kind of almost looks like the Dermacol foundation. It looks like the Kat Von, Kat Von D Locket foundation. What tattoo? Can, can What tattoo, boo? But I tried and tried and tried. So what I'll probably try to use this for is probably as an under eye concealer during the actual winter, during the summertime. But with it being so oily, my problem is, is I don't want it to speed up production of oils here and start to crease my under eye makeup right here or have that oil start to seep into my nose area, which is the oiliest part of my darn body, and it just starts to speed up the oil production there. I'm going to give it one more try. And I had this, oh my God, I bought, like, when I first bought these, I love the coverage, I love the shade and everything with them. I bought, like, four of them in some different shades, and I'm now realizing that I just kind of threw money away, because I don't... I don't know why I'm holding my hand like I gotta ask y'all a question. Hey, YouTube, could I ask you a question when you stop? <laughs> okay, so the last thing that I'm gonna say that is going into my <sighs> this is an OG YouTube favorite. I don't care. It's from a uh, LA girl, and this is their Pro Conceal, the HD High Definition Concealer. I don't like these. I have like four or five of the different shades. One, I hate the fact that from time to time it drips out water when you have to go in and use it. You guys see that? It comes out all weird. Like, see the water on it? And I just don't have time for this. Like, and it comes out all weird and goopy. I know you're supposed to, like, just... I know you're supposed to, like, kind of just shake it up real good and make sure you're shaking it real good and kind of roll it around like this in between your fingers. So when you go in and use it, you can go ahead and use it really well. But... Let's go with my running thing. Lynn doesn't like anything that makes her routine harder than what it has to be or makes my routine longer than what it has to be. I want to be able to grab something and go. And because of the little brush tip, it would be perfect underneath the eyebrows to actually go ahead and arch out. The eyebrows are right in here. Just um, like I really tried. And this is in the color fawn. I, I really, really tried, but I just, I just couldn't get it. And the funny part about it is when I first started to use this about six years ago, I loved it. I didn't have any problems or issues, but when I recently went and repurchased it about a year, year and a half ago, I think I noticed, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure because I didn't have my old one because I had used it all. I don't know if they had a formulation change, and that's the reason why I'm just like, who asked for that? But all I know is it doesn't quite feel and wear the way it used to for me, for some odd reason. I'm not really sure why, but yeah, no, nah, 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 I can't get down with a pro concealer. Mm, nah, mm, mm. I have other found other concealers and stuff that I could use in place of this, which is sad because this was. This is, you don't know YouTube OG if you don't know this right here. Like, everybody named Mama, I don't care what complexion they were, what type of skin they had, what country they were filming for. Uh, everybody named Mama, this was, this, 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 this is YouTube royalty. Just not for me. Okay, guys, so you've made it to this part of the video, and I went ahead and went through the products that just didn't work for me. The, who asked for that product? Like, I really, really try my hardest to try to get products to work, try to look at them from different angles, to try to use them for different purposes. But after a while, 
Ah, uh, no, I just can't. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what products you guys have that you guys have used that you was like, everybody else wait, raved, just raved about the product. Gotta have, gotta get this product. And then you got it, went home and tried it, and you was like, I don't get it. Either I'm too stupid, I don't have the right techniques, I'm not using the right products, I don't have the right skincare routine. I don't know why. No, if you've had a chance to see those products, thank you so much, YouTube, for coming to spend some time with me today. You already know, I don't care when you watch me in the morning, afternoon, evening, late at night. You know, chilling out and smacking with your girl. You know, it's 2.30 a.m., why am I so lit? Because me and Red Bull got me lit at 2.30, that's the reason why. But, um, as always... Thank you so much, YouTube, and until next time, have a good one. Bye.